Hello again! Today's video is about layer effects, also known as layer styles, in real-world applications like Photos or Paint.com. Start by creating a new image, about 500 pixels in size. Quickly draw something to the first layer, like for example a very simple house and a tree. I'm using the rectangle, polygon, ellipse and eraser tools. It doesn't matter what you actually draw, you just need something in the layer to see how the styles work. To apply an effect to a layer, click on the Configure Layer Effect button in the Layers panel. Choose the Raster Image Dash Bevel filter and increase the amount and blur parameters a bit. As you can see, the image looks beveled but the actual pixels in the layer stay the same. You can display them by clicking on the Show Final Image button. Let's go to the Layer Effect configuration window again. To use, to use more than one effect on a layer, select the Sequence operation. Then add three steps using the button with the plus icon. Set the operation in the first step to Raster Image Dash Fill. This allows you to fill the image with a gradient or a pattern. Configure a simple grey gradient. In the second step, use our good known bevel filter. Finally, Use the Raster Image Dash Drop Shadow filter in the third step. Increase the shadow size a bit. Click OK and see the results. Add something to the drawing. The layers, layer styles are being applied to the newly drawn objects. You can use any tool. Try the brush tool. You may lower the brush blur parameter to have sharper and therefore more beveled edges. You can add almost any effects to the layer including filters from installed plugins. I have the sam sample dissolve plugin installed and therefore I can use it as a layer style. The order of the effects is important. They are applied in one after another. If I put, put the dissolve filter before drop shadow the results will be different. Dissolve is not the most useful filter. Let's replace it with the Colorize filter and set the color to blue. You can quickly copy the layer effect to clipboard using the copy button. Then you can easily use it on another layer. Change the colorization to red for this layer and make the shadow color yellow to simulate a glowing effect. Try drawing into this layer. It seems to work, work alright. Put some text into this layer. The styles make the text look more fancy.
add another effect to this layer. Duplicate the fill operation. Change the gradient to radial and blending to paint over. The paint over mode will make the previous gradient not completely overwritten if we use semi-transparent color. It does not seem to have a visible effect. Can you guess why? Think about the whole sequence of operations. It's darker, but not green. Still not green. It was the colorize operation. Move it up and you will see the green color. Watch what happens if I move the text around. The green spot stays in the same place and does not move with the text. Try drawing with a brush. Happy? Check the raw layer pixels. They are pretty unimpressive compared to the styled layer. Layer styles can also be saved to files and of course also loaded. Here is a polished gold style I have created before. If you have the tech library installed, you'll see the pre previews of the styles when opening them. A word of warning in the end. Do not choose the print or export operation as layer style.